Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Where Will They Take Your Bones? And our scripture is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 22, where Paul, the apostle, writes, It was by faith that Joseph, when he was about to die, said confidently that the people of Israel would leave Egypt. He even commanded them to take his bones with them when they left. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers when he was very young. However, even as a slave in Egypt, this ancestor of Jesus kept his integrity and commitment to God on the faithful front burner. He knew God was watching over him. Throughout his time in Egypt, Joseph never lost sight of God's promises given to his ancestor Abraham that the land of Canaan would be their inheritance. At the end of his days on earth, Joseph instructed his family to carry his bones back to that promised land when they left Egypt years later. Now, I'm not an historical mind reader, but it seems clear that Joseph's intent was to stay true to God's call and promises, even after he left this earthly realm. Being buried, or reburied, in that place of promise was a significant gesture of his faithfulness. Home at last. Joseph's clan did what he asked of them, burying him at Shechem, the first place his great-grandfather Abraham had worshipped. It was at that place God gave the promise of Canaan land to the descendants of Abraham. Joseph's intent all throughout his difficult early days and his glory latter days were aimed at going back to the altar where God first called. For you today, you may have a lengthy line of Christians in your ancestry, or you may be the first of your family to profess Christ. Either or anywhere in between is a perfect place to adopt the kind of lifelong, holy determination that defined Joseph's life. If you've had a rough start in life, like Joseph, or a relatively secure and happy start, like Opie and Mayberry, you will someday also have an end. For the time being, God is calling you to the kind of faithfulness Joseph lived, ready to serve and honor the one who gives the promise, Father God, Lord of Heaven's armies. By your thoughts, words, and deeds, leave no doubt in your clan's minds where they should carry your bones when your time comes. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.